exercise 13 we all have gathered here for an important conference it is important in the first instance because it is the first meeting of the state ministers of rural development rural housing and panchayati raj after my government took office in new delhi hence i must at the very outset both welcome you to this conference and thank you for giving me this opportunity to meet important representatives of the state government but a greater reason that lands importance to this conference is its subject rural development rural housing and panchayati raj constitute an interdependent set of concerns which are at the very heart of india's present and future national development precisely because of this reason they are at the heart of the national agenda for governance which is the blueprint of my government's policies and priorities to explain the importance of rural development in the context of our common dream of building a new india is to be labor the obvious india is a land of villages between 60 and 70 percent of our population live in villages and is engaged in agriculture and allied activities para when it is said that india is an ancient nation and this fact makes all of us proud it is well recognized that what constitutes her rich heritage is her village based culture and agriculture it is on the solid foundation of this ancient culture that india is emerging as a potentially strong and modern economy i have used the term potentially with deliberate intent and emphasis it points to a historic possibility well within our reach it also powerfully reminds us that the possibility of india becoming a strong economy and a strong nation depends crucially on the attention we pay to the all-round development of our villages and our agriculture this is where the subject of today's conference assumes its paramount importance i would even go as far as to say that both from a short term and long term point of view ministries of rural development rural housing and panchayati raj are the most important ministries in our union and state governments i wish to underscore this core belief of mine because it goes against conventional wisdom and practice hitherto followed rural development is the engine of india's national development